the Real Housewives of Durban give the people what they want. Mable, give the people what they want. Anyway, hello SC gang, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sky Core, and thank you very much for tuning into this video. Do make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel before we get it anyway, because this video has to reach a whole lot of people. Guys, I've watched the, the part two of the reunion of the Real Housewives of Durban, and I should say, I saved the, the recap or rather review of the part one because there was really nothing to say and I didn't want to deem other people's lives in the name of an opinion, you know, type of situation. But when part two came out today, I was just like, what in a one minute of speaking and my player wanted to do a show he he planned the show and he wanted to do it accordingly i understand that but then making the other group take accountability and not making the other ones speak and also even cutting them from saying everything just because you want to say a link but sometimes some <clears throat> sometimes um i always say this uh speaking to people is is a gift man and if you can't do that and if you can't do that properly, I don't know. I don't know. If you can't interview people and let them, you know, come out. I understand there was time and stuff and stuff like that. I feel like there's no minutes really to the show if we would sit and watch the reunion part two and part one one hour each episode that would be very fun you know and also number two the things that i really that really annoyed me while watching the part two was him reverting back to the other seasons as if this season is ending i don't know i don't know what was all that about but then and also the never before seen the never seen before footages also annoyed me because I was just like, why were you not showing such important information and you let people go with their narratives about people? Hmm? As I was showing the never before seen mm, tour, uh, videos, especially the one of Angel, when she was saying, never go for a black woman because you will get what you want. I stand to be corrected, but that's what I heard. And that's what I remember at this point because I watched this in the in the morning, in the, well, midday. And now it's literally 12 a.m. and I'm filming this video. Literally, this video. Because I wanted to just say my two cents for this. And I feel like, guys, guys... Wendy Williams Light would have done a better job at this point. I'm just like, okay, cool, man. My player is a very good, you know, presenter. I'm not sure if he's a really good instigator or uh, a really good mediator or a really good reporter. He's a good reporter, yes. He's a good reporter. He's a great reporter. I think behind the mic is where he belongs. But in front of the TV, mm, I'm not really too sure. But also, he did try. He did try. But it was just like, um, probably the, hey, Pelale Uncle Viv was also on in on it. Because remember when Neil came at, for two seconds and he was just like, I would like to apologize. And, 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 and then Unongu said, I don't want to say anything when she was asked why she's not saying anything. And she's like, I, I don't want to say anything to be, um, only to be intimidated. Mm. And I was like, okay, Uncle Viv. The money was working, yeah. It was working a nine to five very hard for Pupe. Not even Pupe, she doesn't be. <laughs> she it was working very hard for the wife Sorisha and also Sorisha ish. She let me down, eh? I don't wanna lie, Sorisha let me down because I don't know if it's a Scorpio thing because she's a Scorpio. Not been saying about Scorpius are very shady. <laughs> and they'll instigate and just be like, you know, and chill behind. For me, Usarisha came across as someone who would literally, the whole season, I don't understand why their friends, her friends rather, were not seeing all of this because she became this person. I mean, they've all watched this season 
And then also Risha would literally just just be like, Oh, you did one, two, three. Oh, you did one, two, three. <laughs> oh, you did one, two, three. And then just keep quiet and be like smizing and drinking her tea because that's what she would drink all the time, most of the time on the show when everyone is fighting. She'd be here. And she'd be like, but no, I told you one, two, three. No, but I don't do that. Don't do one, two, three. And it's just like, and then you come back and they didn't even show that she apologized for certain stuff. Now, people had, um, people, me included, I have, I had this, you know, idea about her that she will say stuff and say, no, we've, we've solved it. You know what I mean? I didn't even know they apologized to each other, Yenali uh, Maria. Mm. So for me, the season was really good, was really good. They really did a great job until the messy reunion that Mable couldn't handle. Mm. I think we, they needed someone who's as messy as them because all of them, guys, let's, let's, let's be honest. All of them were doing the same thing. He was right when he said that everyone was doing, no one is as innocent, especially in the diary sessions. But that doesn't mean or they were actually shady and evil towards each other because I can count the people that were really evil to each other face to face. Number one, Sli. Usli ave awa tanda ama bek nama gifts ama kushi because what is all this? Bro, what is all this? You know? And at the same breath, I like what Zama was doing because Uma Blair kept on trying to insinuate other things and not let her speak because he has the power. He was on the throne, basically, and trying to make. um you know, insinuations about people without them having to, you know, explain themselves or correct if he's been wrong. Because he claims he watched, so you can't lie. So, obviously, them all don't remember the things they've said and him not showing it to them and then asking a question because he says he's watched. Obviously, you're going to be like, okay, probably I've said that. You know what I mean? But then, yeah, I, guys... I think for the next host, you must get someone who's as controversial, who's not as scared. I mean, Bo McGee, but then, like, get someone like McGee. I'm going to need Fat Joe to come out of, you know, retirement because we need him in such things and, peop and for people to take notes very carefully because at this point, I'm just like, mm-mm. We cannot get this mediocre and him wanting to say his links and that, that is important uh, more than them explaining themselves. Like literally he was caught in people. There was this moment where I don't know if it was Maria or Noku or Jojo was speaking. He was literally, okay, quick, quick, quick. And then he says his link and I'm like, okay, I understand the producers want something, but then don't cut them off. Let them finish their sentence and then just say, politely just say okay i'm gonna have to cut you right there and then come back after the break to ask what they were actually saying no he would really just carry on i'm not blaming him for the show he did an amazing i mean he was casted for a reason but i feel like i for the next season they must get a host that really is all about controversy who's really who knows what to ask and what to stir and how to stir it and how to mediate everything together and not be worried about doing the show the way they planned it you know what i mean if they didn't plan stuff it's fine find a way to to bring it back don't now just want to say a question no we're not doing it we're not doing that it was that time he was trying to stop nail from speaking i understand nail spoke when he was not spoken to but he wanted to leave so he had to do that and he tried to stop him he he could have just as a host you have no right to just say no 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 just say no no not now and then you keep quiet you let them speak and then you interject simple but then i i guess the the experience are not so in experience at this point but yeah i just wanted to say my two cents do make sure that you like share and subscribe to the channel let's communicate down in the comment sections below my name is skyco and i'll see you on the next video